This lesson will cover the following topics. The key starting system. The Renault card starting system. The hands-free Renault card starting system. The starting systems vary depending on the Renault vehicle. The types of starting system are the system with key and ignition switch, the system with a Renault card inserted into the card reader, and the hands-free Renault card system. This lesson will not cover starting conditions relating to an immobiliser. Now let's look at the components of the starting system. The starting system consists of two circuits. The control circuit and the power circuit. The control circuit varies depending on the vehicle. By contrast, the power circuit is the same for all starting systems. Let's now look at the operation of the starting system with key and ignition switch. The control circuit with ignition switch is the simplest. The driver activates the ignition switch using the key. The control circuit is closed. The current travels through the wiring and activates the solenoid. Once the power circuit is closed, the starter motor is activated. For safety reasons, vehicles with automatic or sequential transmission include a control circuit with relay. The relay determines whether the vehicle will start. The control circuit with relay uses a key-activated ignition switch to close the control circuit. On vehicles incorporating a control circuit with relay, authorization to start depends on certain conditions. The starting conditions are as follows. On a vehicle equipped with an automatic or sequential transmission, no gear must be engaged. The driver must turn the key to start the engine. Let's now look at the engine stop conditions. For safety reasons, the vehicle speed must be zero miles per hour. Simply turning the key will then stop the vehicle's engine. In this section, we covered the following points. The starting systems vary depending on the Renault vehicle. The starting system consists of a power circuit and a control circuit. The control circuit with ignition switch is activated by a key. For safety reasons, some control circuits also include a relay. On a vehicle incorporating a control circuit with relay, authorization to start depends on certain conditions. For safety reasons, the vehicle must be stationary for the engine to be stopped. Let's now look at the control circuit with the Renault card inserted into the card reader. The Renault card starting system consists of a power circuit identical to that in the key starting system. Only the control circuit is different. Let's look at the main control circuit used with the Renault card. The Renault card control circuit consists of the following components. A card reader. A starter button and a UCH. In this case, the relay function is integrated in the UCH. Let's look at the operation of the Renault card starting system. The driver inserts the Renault card into the card reader. The UCH authorizes starting if the card is recognized. The driver presses the starter button. The UCH controls the relay to activate the solenoid. On vehicles incorporating a control circuit with a Renault card, authorization to start depends on certain conditions. The starting conditions are as follows. The Renault card must be inserted into the card reader. On a vehicle with automatic transmission, the gear lever must be in the park or neutral position. On some vehicles, the brake pedal must also be depressed. On a vehicle with manual transmission, 
no gear must be engaged and the brake pedal must be depressed. If a gear is engaged, the clutch pedal must be depressed. The driver must press the starter button to start the engine. Let's now look at the engine stop conditions. To stop the engine, the following conditions must be met. The vehicle speed must be zero miles per hour. The Renault card must be inserted into the card reader. The driver must press the starter button to stop the engine. In this section, we covered the following points. The control circuit with Renault card uses the Renault card inserted into the reader. In the ignition circuit using the UCH, the relay function is integrated into it. On vehicles incorporating a control circuit with a Renault card, authorization to start depends on certain conditions. To stop the engine, three conditions must be met. Let's now look at the control circuit with hands-free Renault card. The hands-free Renault card starting system consists of a power circuit identical to that of the starting system without hands-free mode. Only the control circuit is different. Let's look at the main control circuit used with the hands-free Renault card. The hands-free Renault card starting system uses ignition aerials. When the driver presses the starter button, the UCH interrogates the Renault card through the ignition aerials. The ignition aerials search for a nearby card. When the card is found, and if the code is recognized, the UCH authorizes starting. Let's now look at the operation of the hands-free Renault card starting system. When the driver presses the starter button, the UCH interrogates the card. Once the card has been recognized, the UCH sends an authorization to start signal to the protection and switching unit, or UPC. The UPC activates the starter relay. On vehicles incorporating a control circuit with a hands-free Renault card, authorization to start depends on certain conditions. The starting conditions are as follows. The hands-free Renault card must be located within the coverage zone of the starting aerials. On a vehicle with automatic transmission, the gear lever must be in the park or neutral position and the brake pedal must be depressed. On a vehicle with manual transmission, the gear lever must be in the neutral position and the brake pedal must be depressed. If a gear is engaged, the clutch pedal must be depressed. The driver must press the starter button. If the starting conditions are not met, an appropriate message is displayed on the instrument panel. Let's now look at the engine stop conditions. To stop the engine, the following conditions must be met. The vehicle speed must be at zero miles per hour. The hands-free Renault card must be located within the coverage zone of the starting aerials. The driver must press the starter button to stop the engine. If the Renault card is not within the coverage zone of the aerials, the engine will not stop when the starter button is pressed. A warning tone indicates that a message has appeared on the instrument panel. This message asks for confirmation to stop the engine. A second message indicates that the starter button must be pressed twice to stop the engine. In this section, we covered the following points. The control circuit with hands-free Renault card does not require the Renault card to be inserted into the reader. The UCH, aided by the UPC, authorizes starting if the starting conditions are met. The hands-free Renault card must be located within the coverage zone of the starting aerials to stop the engine. If the Renault card is not within the coverage zone of the aerials, the instrument panel displays confirmation messages.